I'm just going to do that, it's just easier. Uh, what's this for? What magazine? Um, this is going to be for Pulse magazine. This is the, the magazine that we put together for Musica, which is probably the HMB equivalent or the Virgin Megastore equivalent. Okay, it's a free magazine. Yeah, sure. yeah. And it goes into all the stores and you pick it up and you have to go buy everything that's in there. And, um, no, because the last thing that, well, the interview I did with you read in the papers that went, that went out, I think, the week of release. And you'll be pleased to know that your record company actually advertised your album about, I tried to find the issue before I came out. They actually advertised your album about two, three issues before that. So, well, in, the, in the month that it was out, so. But it was interesting, because at the time you and I spoke, it was a case of, you, you'd wanted to come out again, but you, but there was nothing on the cards, and then... It was suggested a while ago, I think, about you know, a year or two ago. Well, was, yeah, a few years ago, they wanted us to do a big DJ for the rave. That's thing. right, and then that and didn't just, happen. Well, it just seemed like a bit of... I, I saw a thing on TV about South African trance and the big rave. Yeah. I saw it looked awful. And to come to South Africa, it just didn't seem a very nice, nice thing, thing to, to do. For. Yes. Yeah, true, because also... We, we still got heaps of cash, but... Sure. Yeah. But you wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been, it yeah, probably yeah. wouldn't have helped you or your profile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that used to me, so. So then the British Council gets involved and then that's okay. <laughs> well, it just seemed like they were trying to make it an interesting event and ten years right. democracy, yeah, you know, it's not? great to actually be involved with that. Sure, sure. To help celebrate something and yeah, it's really yeah. nice. So. Yeah. No, I just think it's, it's good timing as well because, I mean, you've, you've, been, you've been playing Heavily over the last, so certainly since the album came out, you've been playing festivals. Yeah, although we've actually been, I think we've done less than we did before. But we've been a lot more clever with what we've done. But in a way, it's been more effective, yeah. Yes. We've, well, we've been playing on bigger stages in front of more people. Yeah, I'm sorry. At the right festivals. Yes, so cherry picking. But we haven't um, toured as much as we used to. Last yeah. time we did a US tour and a European tour. It took we you six months. Either of those. Six really? months to recover. Yeah, we only did like. About a week in England and then another two weeks stint in England. So we've hardly toured at all, really. No. But the festivals have kept us busy in the summer. Yeah. I mean, what, what's it like playing playing a, a festival circuit? I mean, it, it must be. I mean, is it. Because I always think of the logistics of getting you there, setting it, you know, making sure your gear's right. I mean, you've got all your people to do that, but, you know, you. You don't know what the space is going to do for you, other than the crowd, hopefully, or, you know, vibe of what you're doing, but you, you're reliant on so many factors that you don't control. But the thing is, you do something like Glastonbury, you know, Glastonbury's a good festival, that people are going there with the right attitude, and uh, and you know what your billing is, or whatever, and, yeah, so it's kind of, yeah, unless something terrible goes wrong. Yeah. I mean, like this year, it's pouring with rain yeah. through half the show. But it was great anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we, we've been lucky. I suppose, yeah, thinking about what we were doing in the first place meant that we were into it and excited to be there. Yes, which. And, uh, yeah. Well, the, just, rest, the rest follows, yeah. Because, I mean, as well, I mean, when you when you do those kind of things, I always think that, especially if the crowd isn't quite where you want them and you want to try and push it, and, I mean, what you've got on your albums are, you know, are, are, they're not set pieces. I mean, you can mess with them, but, you know, in some respects, I'm sure there's, there's times that you just want to be able to sort of almost just blow them away. Yeah. I mean, I, I, well, I, I think with all the festivals we've done, I think we've pretty much blown away every crowd. Yeah. Is that because you've, 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 got, you've got your set down? Yeah, and the, the people we work with, uh, there's good chemistry, it's just, yeah, it's, we did a small tour at the beginning mm. in small clubs, which meant to, we got the vibe of what we were doing, yeah. and then took it on the big stage, so yeah. it's kind of the work was done on the initial tour. Yeah. So, uh, and they were great gigs, but they were an intimate thing, which is completely different to yes. the big stage. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we honed our kind of skills on the... Yes. And also the probably stage, the tracks that, that you would go with, because I mean, some tracks would just die live. Yeah. And then others that just obviously are the, you know, the first opening bars, like it was, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I suppose with live shows, we've been doing it a few years, and yeah, we want it to be something good rather than just say that you're going to listen to yes. this. Yes. Which some bands do, say this is, these are our new songs. Yeah. We're going to play all of them. Yeah. You might not get half of it, but we don't care. Yeah. So, which I, I think, think I think we're a bit probably from coming from the downside and DJ. Yes, because you don't have that luxury, do you? Because you're, you're on the side of the people. Yes, so. yeah. So which is which is quite different from as you say from any other any other way. 
performing really. Did you having fun? Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah, and I think we both feel let's knock it out this time. Yes. Which I think, well, after touring the Ruti album, yes, it just seemed very exhausting, and uh, I think we were both sick of it all at the end, and just like I don't know, I don't know how bands do that all the time. Yeah. Because you actually lose reality completely. You live in a bubble for ages and ages. You get knackered out. You drink too much, smoke too yeah. much, and just feel like shit. I mean, it's difficult not to do that. I mean, if you wherever you go. I mean, you've got these people who just will do anything for you. I mean, it's, it, 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 is, it is totally unreal because it just has just put pockets of time and you arrive and you're new to them. You, I mean, you guys have been living with one another, you know, out of each other's pockets for, you know, for how long? You just, it, it must become quite sort of mechanical, you know, towards the end that you just go, do the show, you know, have fun, yeah. sure. But, but I think when you get to that stage, you go, but hold on, why did we do, start doing this in the first place? Yeah. Well, I think this time we've kind of, yeah, we've done it, tried yeah. to make it good for ourselves and so that we don't lose interest. And, and so, cause if you lose interest in the show, yeah. loses it's interest a bit, you know. Yeah, it's, well, it suffers because I think it's important enough, it should be important enough to you to, because this is, this is your this is a job. Yeah, it's what you we know. do. It's not a bad job. You, know, you want to do what you do well, yeah. you know, so... <laughs> Yeah. You don't want it. You don't want people to come to a show and then think it's crap. Yeah. And uh, and I, for me personally, a lot of bands I just find a bit boring. Yeah. So, but so yeah. it's kind of like so it's to make sure. Hopefully, I'd find it interesting yes. to go to one of our gigs. And I mean, it's interesting too because I think you know it's been said before that the reason why you sort of almost pushed to do what you do is because of the amount of crap that's out there and and and. The, and you as a fan of music want good stuff to listen to and so you you want to like you do when you play live you're on the side of the fan you you almost want to sort of rebalance the scales as it were because there's so much there is so much crap out there and it would be nice and it's not I don't think it's a case of having you know being big headed about your own music but it would be I mean when you hear your stuff on the radio you go well you know comparative to a lot of the stuff that's out there this is especially Kish Kash to me is it, it, it's such a I don't want to call it a serious record but it, it was I think to a lot of people they were they were quite blown away that it was possible to do that it's going to depart probably it's, yes. yeah, it's not it's, yeah. it's not silly no <laughs> which you know yeah you know, you can look at Which, there's say, nothing wrong with silly music, no, you know, no. but it's kind of, that's just what it is. Yeah, it's just... It's and uh, at this time in the musical landscape, maybe it's good to have some things that are quality yeah. and proper and, you well, know... Who, who thought you would have a personality, you know, heaven forbid? <laughs> You're supposed to sit behind, you know, in this clinical environment with, you know, samples and loops and everything else and just generate the stuff. But, it, it, you know, I think a, a, a lot of that music suffers from not having any personality yet. You know, dance music, yeah, it generally yeah, yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and as much as that's where you come from, it's you. I think you, you're one of the groups that have, been, you know, been responsible for taking it to a serious place where it is actually ticked off as being yeah. oh well, you know. Well, otherwise, otherwise you just create a style. Yeah. So, uh, which is all well and good. It's like fashion. You know, some fashion is like interesting, but unless it, I don't know, fashion can actually speak more than than just kind of a, a style. It can yeah. actually talk about how you feel as a human being. Yeah. All those kind yeah. of things. So it's like Yeah, because I suppose you don't want to make it too obvious, you know, in, in, in how you present it. You'd still like it to challenge and also for certainly for the for the genre of music to grow. So you have to drop stuff in that maybe even tests you a little and maybe test your audience and they're going, Oh, you know, where'd that come from? But then you know, as, as you as you sit with it, you become more, you know, you become more comfortable with it, and because otherwise you would be rehashing the same old thing over and over. Sure. But I mean, where, where do you look for for influence? I mean, outside of you know the vibe that you get off of, off of your fans, and, and yeah, because I mean that's an indicator. But um, everywhere, really. Yeah. Influences from. Well, just what influence? Yeah, everything. Everything. Yeah. Well, we're both into loads of different sorts of music and, you know, films and places. And yeah. So the next album, is it going to be another another radical departure or is it... I don't know. I mean, at the moment, we are trying to make stuff 
Like, well, some of the stuff we're doing is definitely trying to make stuff that is suitable for uh, probably a party or a club. Or, okay. And, uh, not kids, a banging club. With, no. kids, with kids cash, we, uh, <laughs> we, we, went, do we went off into, uh, well, we do do banging. Yes. But, um, Planned banging. We haven't yet for this album. Yes. But, um, Kish Cash was definitely going off and being musical. Yes. And we had a, a computer which enabled us to do multi tracking, and we were kind of being more traditional, really. And uh, and I suppose dance music seemed less relevant or less of a constraint. Mm. And we felt slightly kind of in our own place somewhere. We didn't feel we were attached to anything in particular. So we were able to go off and, you know, experiment. And I think um, that was really healthy and good thing to do. And I think uh, with that experience, we can now make a, I don't know, maybe a slightly simpler record. Yeah, it's refining, nice. it's refining, it's refining, slightly simpler, mm. something yeah. less digestible. Yeah. And it can be intelligent, and it yeah. can be all those things, and it can be soulful and everything. But it just. But I mean, if you if you compare what the drive was from album one to where you are now, is the drive still the same? The drive, the reason for doing it. It's all slightly different because it's different. But well, you know, I'm a different person to yes. what I was ten years yes. ago. So yeah. I don't know really. Yeah. You know, when we started, uh, I don't know really. It was. Um, well, it was a chance to get a record out there at the beginning. Yeah. And actually, if one person You're played it on the radio, would play that's it. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So and then yeah and then yeah you have different goals Ooh. each time. Ooh. So I suppose this last year it's like we yeah. worked on. A much bigger level, yeah. level as far as the live yes. thing, and uh, and it's really nice to see the music work in that way. Yeah. So it kind of it makes you view the music differently. Mm. Mm. And uh, yeah, there's different things I suppose work at a festival than mm. would in a club. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but, I mean, it, but, it, but then again, yeah, maybe we'll make an album that's not for a festival or a club. Yeah. Maybe it's for you in your bedroom. Yeah. Who knows? You see, I mean, that, that, I, I always think that that's that's the biggest trap that you potentially fall in because you say the older you, you know, the, the, the older you are and the more experience and the, and the more you play and, the, and, the, and the, the more aware you become of, of the place that you occupy um, that could that can work you know to your advantage as much to your detriment because knowing too much can hurt you know going in blindly going well you know and being naive I suppose in certain respects but has, has got has helped get you to the place that you have, and it, you know, in certain respects. And now you know. I mean, you're you're smart. You know, you're, so you, in a way, you perhaps. Well, so I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, we're you're, doomed. You mean you're doomed? <laughs> I know. You know too much. You have to die now. Well, we're going to have to try things that we don't quite know how to do, probably. Yes. Yeah. Because that's what we did in the beginning, is that we tried to imitate, really, yeah. and we got it wrong. Yeah. But through that, we forged our own sound. Yes. You know, so yes. that's what we've got to try and do now. We've yes. got to try and do something that we can't really do, probably. Yes. But yeah. I feel we've got a lot more freedom and confidence, probably, yeah. than we have before. Because with Kish Cash, we really didn't follow any style. No. Or any, we definitely said, well, that's where we're going. Yes. Everyone is going there, there, whatever. Yes. Matter. Which is which is nice which too. Which is probably brave, and it it, brave. We, we've got through it. Which yes, is like, because thank it could, God. Yes, because <laughs> it could have gone. Home. It could have been like have the end of eight hundred. Yes, no yeah. one likes it anymore. Yes, yeah. whatever. Wish they could do the next day. You know. It would be that critically acclaimed album, not that sort of like you know brilliant selling album. Which we, yes, ten people bought it because it was really there was something there, but nobody could put their finger on. Yeah. Yeah. But just carry on. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, creatively, you always want to keep alive. So it's kind of a. Yeah, it's kind of looking at the next way of doing things and sort of uh, trying not to repeat yourselves, but yeah, keep it alive, really. And hopefully not listen to people like me, you know, because that could hurt you. Okay. Well, what did he mean? <laughs> well, yeah, we're probably, I mean, we've been quite lucky, I think, with the press. I'm, I'm so surprised we haven't got slated yet. Yes, but, yeah. Which, in a way, I felt ready for. Yes. On the last album, it's like, okay, well, it, now it, this it, is the time when... Well, it, it had that. It, it yeah. had that potential for people to, to totally not get, mm. you know, where you were going and, and, and to shoot you down for it, which would be the completely wrong thing to do. Yeah. Well, I think you've got to just try and forget the press anyway. Yeah. Well, I don't read press, which I used to at the beginning. I used yes. to read everything and see what everyone said. Yes. Now I just try not to, because it doesn't matter. No, no. Otherwise, no. you read a whole page of saying, brilliant, amazing, amazing, yeah. and then 
then they say, I'm not so sure about that last track in the bit that does that. It's now a bit weak. We're the phone them up going, oi, you know. No, uh, but they're stupid. No, they're just exactly. Like, just a mere detail. Well, also, and most I mean, people take it as a... Well, there's two of you and there's how many million fans out there. I mean, you're never going to get it right. I mean, you'd almost have to make a record for each one of them, you know, to satisfy them all completely. So, you know, it's... So, I mean, I think from that point of view, you have to do it for yourself first. And I think, in some respects, the less you uh, stress about it, the easier it becomes. Yeah, that's right. You know, because I think that the, the more refined it, or the, the more you try and refine it, the less it has of you. And I think that's, especially on Cash Cash, I mean, it, it was, I think, as you say, you anticipated a lot to come from it, and what came from it, you were like going, oh, you know, you were expecting a fight, and there wasn't a fight, or, you know, that, that kind of thing. But I think it's 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 definitely elevated who, who you are to certainly a, a, a totally different audience, as well as still being able to satisfy, you know, the guys that were there for reaching and, and the rest, you know. Yeah. You want to go join? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get bad karaoke everywhere. Harley Davidson, you mentioned. I just realised that. Yeah. Would you do that at a Harley Davidson? Huh? I wouldn't do this at a Harley Davidson convention. I know, it's odd, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I bring it must be top. very high management. It's obviously not the bike distance. No, no, no. It's just like ACDC or something, you know, doing an acoustic uh -huh. sound. So. Well, thank you, gentlemen, because I know you got to catch some sun, I'm sure. Uh, we've got more interviews, haven't we? I think we've got more interviews. <laughs> Have you? I think so. Ah, uh, dear. Well, you got apples and carrots, so you yeah, so. could actually cook up a stew while you're at yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Good to find a meet you. Yeah, well. I'll be there tomorrow night. Yeah, so cool. down there. Are we going to be The rest playing? of the band driving this afternoon. Yeah, all your gears in the basement. I couldn't find parking. Thank you very much. Really? <laughs>